Today, aside from announcing a statewide requirement to wear masks, the governor also asked businesses who are itching to reopen to wait three more weeks. That includes bars and gyms who initially thought they would finally get the green light when phase one ended. The governor says he knows this is tough for them. We want to be easing those restrictions. We're going to continue to follow the science and data to tell us when we can do that. And meteorologist Tony Sudico joins us live now. And Tony, we just heard the governor say he's leaning on the science and you spoke with health experts to learn about the dangers they see for each business. Yeah, Damani, it's all about the risk here. Minimizing the spread is a function of proximity and exposure. So basically, how many people are gathered, how close and for how long? And in some settings, health experts say it's just harder to keep people safe. Now 13 weeks and counting since bars and gyms were forced to close because of the coronavirus. Since then, we've taken steps towards a new normal. Restaurants back open at a limited capacity. You can get a haircut again and even go to a public swimming pool. Health experts say the risk of community spread are considered to be lower in those activities compared to others where there's large gatherings, loud talking, and where it's difficult to social distance. In a study published by the CDC, researchers in Japan found many cases of COVID-19 were associated with heavy breathing in close proximity, such as singing at karaoke parties, cheering at clubs, having conversations in bars, and exercising in gyms. So anytime we're in an environment where it's harder to be six feet apart or more distanced, um, then the, the risk of transmission goes up significantly. And with COVID cases continuing to climb in recent weeks across North Carolina, Dr. Ryan Shelton with Tryon Medical Group says it's cause for concern. The, the most worrisome number for me is the number of hospitalizations. So um, that that truly means that people are getting it and they're getting sick from it. A reality check. Coronavirus is far from over and why vigilance in the face of fatigue is our safest bet. I mean, I think the, the safest thing and the best thing to do is to avoid situations where your risk might be higher or where you can't control what that exposure might be. So we have to remember this spreads very easily, so we all have to stay vigilant to try to do the best we can, even though it's a huge inconvenience. It's important to point out in the study, young people contributed significantly to the transmission of the coronaviruses. And in many cases, they didn't show any apparent symptoms like a cough, Damani. And very important information to know. Meteorologist Tony Sabico reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.